actually stood up. I'm stood up today because sadly someone rudely commented <laughs> why the f*** are you sat down? <laughs> Something like that. Hi guys, it's Grace and Marie and today I'm back with another haul video. This time it is spooky season so I'm going to be trying on some not so spooky outfits for you. If you've been here a while then you will know I like to make a big deal out of Halloween. Every year I buy brand new outfits to share with you and to share on my spicy page which I will link down below. So without further ado, let's get into this video and see what my Halloween costumes are for 2024. Let's go. Okay, I'm holding the first costume. Are you ready? Can you guess who? <laughs> Do you know those TV pro those kids TV programs where they <laughs> ask a question and wait for the answer? It's Daenerys Targaryen. Let's try her on, shall we? Don't film that. It was just a side to cut scraps. It's raining there, so hopefully it goes inside. This is the Daenerys costume. I've had so many requests for this over the years on my OF and I've finally done it. I did put a lot more effort in with the Instagram, I can't lie, I did the hair with the braids. I feel like we have more of a casual relationship where I can just not bother with the hair. So, I really like this outfit. I've not actually seen Game of Thrones, but I have up until like season 5 and it was a long time ago. So I can't really comment on accuracy too much. Unfortunately I do keep getting a lot of nip slips, so that's not ideal. Um, but this is actually a really nice outfit, I love the colour, I think it complements me. Very comfortable as well, like if I was going to a Halloween party I would be really secure and comfortable in this outfit. I also feel just really powerful in it. I feel like, you know, a powerful woman. You can imagine a bit more like this. I'll get a picture up here so you can see a bit better. Am I a good Daenerys? Let me know. I'll be offended if you say that. I did purchase a medium because that was the only one they had in the shop so I've had to pin it back slightly but I thought better to do that than to not do it at all since I've had so many requests for Daenerys and I'm very glad that I did it because you can't even tell that it's pinned can you? Can you ever tell? <laughs> okay so you can tell a bit that it's pinned but I like it. So overall I'm going to rate this costume a 7 out of 10. I feel like not everyone's seen Game of Thrones even though a lot of people have. I feel like some people might just think I'm Princess Jasmine and that I haven't bothered to have a wig so that's not good. I do like that I don't have to wear a wig with Daenerys because she's obviously blonde so that's a bonus. Although I could have put a bit more effort in, let's be honest. It is obviously a bit too big for me, but that's not the shop's fault. They just didn't have a small. I know I've said it before, but I really do love the colour. I think it's really nice and it's comfortable. I think accurate to the... I nearly said film, it's not film, is it? Series, I think. Overall, I'm going to rate it a 7 out of 10, but please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, on to the next costume. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. I should do the hair, really. Let's see my Tinkerbell impression. I was in the mood, didn't she? When you wish upon a stone. How was that? Okay, here is the next outfit. I am Tinkerbell, if you can't tell. And I've actually done my hair for you this time because I felt like you deserved it. What do you think? I think I've done an alright job. So yeah, here is the Tinkerbell outfit. I think it's very cute. Got the wings as well. The dobs. I've actually had requests for Tinkerbell before as well. I think just naturally with her being a blonde, sexy little thing. Um, so yeah, I've finally done it. Let me know what you think. I think I just love being Tinkerbell because I love Disney. Such a big Disney fan. So just being a Disney character just really makes me happy. I think one thing that I, I'm not a fan of is that I feel like it doesn't like cinch me in very much. It's just a bit like straight. But I do like how short it is. I love the little frills. I think it's just very adorable. I'm not a fan of my wing straps. I wish they were clear like these are but is what it is. There's also lots of glitter on these wings so literally every time I've put this outfit on I've then had to get the hoover out and hoover afterwards which is really annoying. As I said this dress is very short so if I was going to a Halloween party it would maybe be a bit too short. The socials it's absolutely fine. I like that there's a little bit of the underbum there. Very sexy. I did actually order matching green shoes. But sadly they just never arrived so I'm Tinkerbell with just white socks on sadly. My hair also did look a lot better yesterday. Didn't go as well today, but I will put a picture up of me wearing them on socials right here. I'm going to rate this outfit an 8 out of 10. I think it's really nice and easy. It's just a dress with the wings. It's very easy to put on. Very easy with the hair and makeup because I'm blonde. And also, I think she's just so recognisable. Like, I wouldn't have to be explaining who I am. I'm just, I'm here, I'm Tinkerbell, you know? It would have been higher if I would have had the shoes or if this was a little bit tight around here, 
or if the wings didn't have so much glitter on them. But overall, yeah, I love it. An eight out of 10. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Magic transition. <laughs> Okay, here is the third and final outfit. Any guesses who I am? It's Cruella de Vil. I think this is my favourite out of the three so far. First of all, it's Disney again. You know I love Disney. Second of all, Cruella's actually a villain. And I feel like being a villain for Halloween is just always the most authentic. I also think this is one of the only outfits that's actually complete because I've got shoes for this one. These lovely little red boots. Not little, but yeah. And if I was going to be going to a Halloween party this year, this is the outfit I would wear out of the three because it's got a cut, it would keep me warm, and it's just very sexy. It's just a good costume. I really like it. This costume was actually not one that you can just buy. I actually picked the different parts off different websites. It's without the cut. This is just a regular bodysuit with my bra underneath, stockings and suspenders, because you know I love my stockings. Got these boots from Sheen and a cut from Sheen as well. Wig, where was the wig from? The wig was just from Amazon, Cruella de Vil wig comes straight up. And together we have the Cruella costume. I know I have said that I was happy not to wear a wig in the previous costumes, but on some level I also think it's just really fun to have a different hairstyle, something brand new, just for a day, you know? So I do quite like that about this. I also loved that about being Daphne and Velma last year, if you saw that. I think there's just something about wearing a wig that actually makes you like a different character and that's always fun, even though it is more hassle. The only thing about this costume is, it is a little bit risky. I was actually wearing it out. I took my coat off, got a bit hot. I'd probably wear it with fishnets or something, just something with a little bit more coverage. Or maybe even just add a skirt, just for a bit more safety. Overall, I'm going to rate this a 9 out of 10. As I said, it is my favourite out of the outfit so far. It's sexy, she's a villain, it's just a good idea, and I like the fact that I put the outfit together from different websites, that makes me feel very proud. Obviously the wig is annoying, like it, it does itch, and by the end of the night if I was on a Halloween party it would be really annoying me, it would probably be taken out, let's be honest. Yeah, overall I'd rate this a 9 out of 10 because I just really like it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Okay, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what other videos you want to see. And if you do want to see more in all of these outfits, then please do check out my link down below because that is where all of my best content is. I also have got some sexy versions of Tinkerbell and Cruella, like even sexier versions, on my Instagram. So go check them out. And if you want more of them, then do please let me know. But other than that, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye! Don't put that in. <laughs>